Hi guys, welcome back. Look, God has blessed us with the opportunity to see 2024, so happy new year. I've been trying to figure out where to begin with this life update and I realized I just need to pick somewhere, anywhere and start. I got married. <laughs> Yes, I married my boyfriend turned fiancé, now turned husband, Vincent, and I documented the entire process, every single detail. Every plan, every argument, every decision. I had about three terabytes of wedding footage on my hard drive and I was planning this 10 episode mega wedding series. After the wedding, I was collecting the very last bits of contents from one of my friends who had helped me film the bit throughout the process and guys, my hard drive fell. It fell on the carpet and the distance that it fell was really just this much. I held my breath, picked up the hard drive and reconnected it to my laptop. I then listened for that spinning sound that comes on when the hard drive is being read by a computer and as I closed my eyes and prayed for that sound, all I could hear was this clicking sound. <laughs> my computer was no longer reading my hard drive. In fact, no computer was reading that hard drive. After visiting a few technicians and doing my own research online, I came to terms with the fact that I had lost all my footage. Not just the wedding footage, but my archives, travel footage, and so much more. However, at that point, I had already announced that I was working on my wedding series. I had to figure something out. So I spent the next few weeks calling people, trying to gather footage, recover footage from high and low to see if even one wedding related video was possible. Long story short, your girl was able to rise to the challenge and put together a sweet little series for you. Thanks to the fact that I had my sister helping me film. So <laughs> fortunately, she still had some of the footage in her phone. I had done some of the filming on my own phone. So I still had some of that footage in my phone. And you know what? The series that I have now is not what I had originally planned. But at the end of the day, I think this might be a better option. You know, with all the changes in my life, I'm learning to see the silver lining in certain situations. I'm learning to trust God and consequently accept the fact that if he let something happen, it's for a reason. Who knows, maybe there was something in that original footage that I wasn't meant to put online. And that's how I choose to see it. That brings me to my next life update. I live with a man now. So obviously, after getting married, I moved in with my husband and it has been very interesting to say the least. So we never really lived together before and this was a big adjustment both for him and for me. And the fact that it was such a huge adjustment for us took me by surprise because we've been together for so long, we're together for seven years. So I just assumed that merging our lives would be such a breeze. But I was wrong so it has just been an interesting journey and um we are just learning how to fill in our respective roles and i think that that's a process that is going to keep evolving even after spending decades together you are still constantly going to be growing and it's a journey it's an adventure i'm happy to be here anyway that is just the emotional side of things as pertains to the actual move, if anybody has ever moved before, even if it was just once before, you know how stressful that process is. Moving is one of the most stressful things you can do in life. It was quite a hectic process, but we survived and I'm in my new home now. The last update that I have for you today is I'm a locked queen now. Yes, locked queen. Look, look at this. I had micrologs installed. I think I'm currently getting into my sixth week of micrologs and I've already gone for one retwisting or retying session. So I'm happy about it because this is something that I have wanted to do for years. I've been talking about considering locks for at least five to six years now and I kept letting people talk me out of it. No more. I see it, I like it, I want it. I got it. Yeah. That's that. I'm loving the logs, but I think the only challenge that I have is getting it to follow some sort of direction. Like, anyway, 
this video is not about my hair so that's a bit of what i've been up to during my break from youtube initially the break wasn't intentional but after i lost all that footage you know footage that i've been gathering for over a year working on i had really started editing some episodes and i just lost it all i had spent so much time planning out this 10 episode thing i you know when you've put your heart and soul into a project and then it just crumbles and falls between your, your fingers it kind of demoralizes you but like i said i'm trying to look at the silver lining in everything so i decided to just embrace the break more to that december is wedding season so i had so many design projects for my clients over at mutombo visuals if you don't know i'm a digital artist i do that too so i decided to just you know take that time focus on those things and just figure life out off camera well i'm back i hope you had an amazing start to your year and um the only other thing that i'm going to say is i have missed you guys yeah let's get back to our videos <laughs>